The sock's pink. Or no. is that a bad wash? <laughs> it's just like, <laughs> they, you started out white and then they lose their color. All right, Damien, so uh, how could you wrap up or describe uh, this year with the Hurricanes for you coming to the end right now? Oh, uh, well, I wouldn't uh, have it any other way. I like the group of guys that I'm with, and uh, I'd like I'd love to finish the season with them. Obviously, there's always uh, those thoughts in the back of your mind of uh, what could have been if we uh, didn't have that big major letdown in the beginning of the season. And uh, But we've been good ever since, and uh, now i just, uh, you know, trying to be a good role model, uh, maybe give myself a second chance for my career too and uh, be positive influence on the younger guys here in this club too. Cool. Um, having started out the season on not the, the greatest start, uh, what do you have to say about uh, just the fans and support from Southern Alberta? Oh, I've never seen uh, such positive fans, uh, you know, uh, like even that, that 20 game skid we had there, people, uh, when we come close, they'd be positive, they'd be cheering after the game and uh, that's not the best feeling because you <laughs> want to give your fans uh, win a couple wins and uh, and once we started picking it up there, uh, it's uh, unbelievable uh, all the support we get for a small town that's a uh, privately owned team too. It's because we love you so much. We understand <laughs> that uh, the number 4,000 has a special ring to it, doesn't it? Oh, wow. <laughs> hey? Yeah. Don't you have to be like a 10-year NHL vet to reach 4,000? <laughs> You're a little ahead of your time, aren't you? Yeah, well, throughout my whole career, I've had a pretty uh, consistent shot basis of getting a lot of shots uh, per <laughs> game. So. Yeah, that's a pretty good milestone to reach. And uh, explain to everybody what four thousand is. Uh, four thousand uh, was the amount of saves I had uh, during my uh, WHL career. So that's uh, quite a feat going for uh, only four years. And you hit that in Brandon, was it? Yeah, I was ten shots away in Brandon, and uh, ended up getting forty-two so shots that nice. game, and so I passed it by thirty-two. Cool. Did your defense just like kind of sidestep just to get those ten shots <laughs> out of the way and just carry on the game after that, or uh, I don't know. I think they uh, <laughs> they tend to do that a lot lately. <laughs> <laughs> uh, jokes. Not lying down for many of those shots. Eh? <laughs> um, jo jokes all aside, yeah, just give cats a shot. And <laughs> yeah, there, right on. <laughs> uh, all right, so uh, spending as much time as you did uh, off the ice here in Lethbridge and and with the uh, with the rest of the team, uh, give us a memory that stands out, something that puts a smile on your face that. Uh, off the ice that you'll take with you when you leave Lethbridge. Oh, wow. Some shenanigans. <laughs> oh, I don't know if Give I can even dirt. tell anything about that. <laughs> we need our in-house counsel here, so yeah. he has a lawyer present. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. There's a lot of things I could say, but uh, I don't know. I think the thing I'd take the most is just meeting new friends here and, uh, you know, hanging out at uh, certain places and uh, uh, playing guitar and singing some tunes with some buddies and you know things always uh, escalate after that I can't really say much out here because <laughs> I'm on recording but you know there we go that's all I, I, I can that's give you that's all we got okay yeah. we can handle that uh, what do you got planned for the future and what comes up next for you after the season well uh, me and Rich have been talking uh, hopefully I'll go to the east coast after this uh, after the year is finished and then hopefully work on uh, maybe an NHL invite after that. If not, I guess it's some lifetime choices in making school decisions. So <laughs> hopefully something pans out in the pro side of things. Cool. I'm sure it will. Um, with, uh, I'm sure a flood of memories will come back, but what, what is a highlight from on the ice that you'll take away from, uh, from the Hurricanes and playing here? The one thing that stands out? Uh, I'd have to say that one game against Saskatoon, 50 four shots or something like that um. I can't remember what it was exactly but we came out with the win somehow and uh, you know that was when we started turning things around we had that streak before Christmas and uh, the fans were unbelievable here and it's just uh, you know it's a great feeling winning all those games in a row I've had I had a lot of fun during that time and wish we could have done it all year but that actually sticks out in my mind a lot having a good win streak going there um, so leaving this year, um, what do you hope, I guess, happens or what do you think is going to happen with the team from years to come? Uh, well, if they keep this up, uh, they're going to make playoffs next year. So yeah. hopefully I had a good uh, influence on that. And, uh, you know, I think it's a great group of young guys. There's a lot of young guys on this team, so it's uh, uh, problems. It's Hoodies uh, and Johnny and all those other guys uh, – problem to make the, all the young guys you know keep them in line a little <laughs> but I think uh, you know they're all learning to be in this league and uh, they all have done a great job they've been in the league for almost 70 games now so as long as they take that experience and don't take anything for granted and keep working hard every day uh, this is going to be a good team eventually here and, uh, very soon you got a lot of uh, a lot of newfound friends here uh, fans billets Probably some girls along the way that you've met, made friends with and whatnot. <laughs> Do us a favor. Look right into the lens. 
and uh, tell them tell them whatever it is that's in your heart right now. <laughs> that's tough. Uh, <laughs> I don't even know what to say. No, there's not that many girls, you know. Okay. How about the fans? How about your billets? How about your friends? Uh, you know, I just uh, like to thank everyone uh, for the time here. It was uh, short lived, but. I had a great time here, and uh, this is the funnest year of junior hockey I've ever had, and I won't forget anyone. And the support I got from everyone, from my teammates, my billet family, my coaches, it was just unreal. Couldn't ask for more. Go Canes. Go Canes, go.